to yeah. us. We just make our own theme song. Do, 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 do. Theme We're song. looking for a theme song for news. <laughs> drop it, drop your uh, tune in the comments below. Drop your tune. Welcome to Social Media News brought to you by 910, where we specialize in branding, websites, and digital marketing training. I am Chris. And I'm Nicole, and we're your hosts. Let's get into it. TikTok, TikTok tests even longer video uploads as it looks to expand its presence. We've seen this with a new test of TikTok stories, the addition of dedicated resume option for job seekers, reports of group messaging elements that are on their way, and more things coming down the pipeline. Uh, TikTok is now allowing some users to upload videos of up to five minutes in length to the app, which could spark a major shift in the platform's usage. TikTok has already extended its video length limit multiple times, first allowing users to upload 60 second clips, an increase from the 15 seconds originally, then expanding it to three minutes in July this year. The longer time limit allows for more creative capacity and will also enable TikTok to insert more ad slots, which would be expanded again by giving users access to five minute clips, a key potential boost for the company's growth ambitions. Users who have been selected to <laughs> upload longer videos will receive an up account update from TikTok the next time they log into the app. Good luck on that lottery. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I'm not winning that lottery. No. I feel like five minutes is a really long time. It's a long video. It really takes yeah. TikTok away from its roots. But uh, Can I pay attention for five minutes? I guess time will tell. Stats say we're losing tell. our attention span. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Moving on to Facebook, Facebook adds new tools to mark the 10th birthday of Messenger. The app has gone through a lot of change in its first decade, and to mark the milestone, Facebook has announced a range of new Messenger features designed to both spark a celebratory mood while adding entirely new functionality to prompt further messaging, interacting, and usage. First off, Facebook's adding new poll games in Messenger, an interactive polling option that enables you to find out new things about your friends. Should be interesting. I don't want to know. <laughs> also being added is a new way to share Facebook contacts with friends through Messenger. Facebook is also taking the opportunity to preview its coming word effects option. Quote, an exciting new way to pair words with the emojis that have meaning to you and your friends, unquote. Mm. Word effects will be able to choose, uh, will enable you to choose an emoji to be paired with a certain word or term, which will then spark an on-screen explosion of that emoji character whenever it's used within your chat. Which could get annoying, but it might also be an interesting way to spice up your group chats and highlight specific terms that have special meaning to you and your friends. I can't wait for all my <laughs> words I'm going to send you. I cannot visualize this, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the yeah, heck this is. I think it'll be is. fun. Yeah, I think it will be fun. More TikTok. TikTok partners with Shopify to pilot in-app shopping. TikTok and Shopify announced a partnership last Tuesday with a new product dubbed TikTok Shopping. Shopify merchants who have TikTok for business accounts can add a shopping tab to their profiles according to the press release. Merchants can then build a mini storefront complete with prices, photos, and an add to favorites button. That uh, add to favorites button that will lead users to the website upon checking out. Uh, and, and syncing with their online catalogs, of course. Of course. Uh, that brings shopping capabilities to the video sharing app in a more uh, in a move that leverage is highly specific a logarithm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I feel like it's Monday. Is it? It's not Monday though. It Although feels I, Monday I am hungry and winter. Yeah, I'm feeling you. My anyway. hunger is affecting it can us be. somehow. At the moment, the TikTok shop. TikTok shopping pilot is open to Shopify sellers located in the US and UK with a select number of merchants in Canada joining in a few weeks. The feature will be rolled out to other regions over the next few months. Shopify merchants are required to have a TikTok for business account in order to have access to TikTok shopping. That is a lot of TikToking. <laughs> Not surprising, TikTok has also introduced a quick promote ad option to all business accounts, similar to Facebook's Boost button, which enables you to amplify your posts by quickly putting together an ad campaign. How effective these new features will be for digital marketers is yet to be seen, but with Christmas right around the corner, it'll be a great way to test the new tools. 
I Christmas feel, is coming. I don't feel comfortable la, about la, Christmas la, la, being la. right around the corner. But. I'm super comfortable. <laughs> In Twitter, Twitter opens up ticketed spaces to selected users, another step in its creator monetization push. After testing the option out with selected users over the past couple of months, Twitter has announced that it's opening up ticketed spaces to more users, providing another way for creators to make money on their on from their on-platform efforts. Ticketed Spaces provides an additional avenue for creator monetization on the platform, allowing users to charge a ticket cost to people wanting to enter their Twitter space, which is a key element in Twitter's broader strategy to boost usage and attract more users. And of course, Twi uh, Spaces is Twitter's answer to Clubhouse. Yes, and a space audio, audio, place audio. Place to be, yes. to be just talking. Well, and you know this uh, ability to monetize and sell tickets for your space, and I hate to say this, swear uh, to everybody out there, if we do get shut down again and we cannot have in-person e events, it might be a way to uh, attract some users and raise some funds for different things. And the nice thing is, is if you're working in your Twitter space, you don't have to get out of your jam jams. Nice. <laughs> Instagram, uh, introducing ads in the Instagram shop tab. On August 24th, Instagram launched ads in the Instagram shop tab globally to make it easier for people to discover and shop from brands when they're already in the mood to browse. These ads will appear as tiles on the Instagram shop tab homepage. Clicking on the ad will bring you to the product detail page where you can learn more about the item, view additional imagery, and browse additional products from that brand. You can also save the product to your wish list or share it with your friends or you can hide or report them as well. All right, reporting those ads. Well, I never wanted to hide my shopping. I'm gonna share all my shopping list with you and just hope Secret. for the best. Secret <laughs> Santa, Christmas <laughs> is coming! Oh man, if you have a few minutes to spend updating your digital marketing skills, sign up for Quick Plays, our weekly email where our team of coaches videos and sends you a new digital marketing tip every Tuesday. You can visit 910.ca slash quickplays to subscribe. That's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chris. I'm Nicole, reminding you that the first step to successful social media marketing is being brave. <laughs>